So I decided to put the solar energy panel power into the van in the back. So uh, I took everything off and from the inside out. Get to that in a second. And I drilled this hole from the van, from underneath to get it. And I saw that if you go this, I saw if you go after this, we call it a rain gutter, but it's really where Ford joined two pieces together of the van. I would imagine due to construction saving money they they build they build this top section separate and attach it to a van of different length. That's what I think it's about. So they have this I call it rain gutter because it's lowered in the roof. They have this rain gutter that runs along so I went from the back of the van to the rain gutter and I saw that this point is above above the air conditioned duct underneath. Came with a bit from underneath the van so I get it right and this happened, this hole, and I put this hole. I put a grommet on it and then I sealed it with die coal. And Later, I'm going to put this on, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I put it on. And it's going to have the 3M special tape that I use. Popped all, all real easy. All I did was grab it from this side, from by the window, and use pure force on it. Click, 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 and it's the all four little, four little pins holding it in place. Metal. So it's it's good. So this particular one, I released it from over here, pulled it out, had problem with this, and I was very dumbly. I I, I got the tools. I got the tools, and I was gonna take these off. And I said, whoa, this is alignment for the rear door. What if I don't get it exactly correct? Then I'll have one of those guys with the rear doors closing kind of good. I like my doors closing. So I left this alone. I use brute force on this joint. You could tell. You could tell it's kind of bent. Use, and I said, if it rips, I'll deal with it. And it never ripped. And I pulled it over this and came off. Did the same thing for here. Kept lowering and lowering and lowering. I took a look at this in case I want to come, but there's a cord. And I'm afraid it's a cord for the airbags that run the length of the van. And I said to myself, too dangerous. Clicked it back up and went back and worked on this side through here down through here this is nothing but metal structure it's a structure for the van and just just as easy I could call it conduit so I split the wire I taped it again how to split it you have to split the wire to go through the to the two little holes and I came here and I, it was nothing. I just loaded the wire in it, put my fingers in, caught it, pulled it, and ran it over. And there, there's the wire running across the vent to the solar generator over there. That's really all there is to it. You know, I saw me pull it in one hand. No reason on earth that you guys couldn't do it. And 
this is the conduit that runs from the air conditioner. That that's that's the air conditioner itself, and that's the conduit. And there's a couple of air takes in it, and I would imagine that this is an air take. I imagine these two are air takes of it. This is an air take, and if I don't want any problems with the air conditioner, I better make sure that the air conditioner can breathe. Conduit of of the air conditioner, and the conduit of the air conditioner runs. I know it runs this way, and then it must head out to the vent, and does the whole length of the van cooling it, and. I put I put the two wires about here and this is how it is. Well probably about here. And then uh, I did run on top of the conduit, so you have to be careful. You got two inches. You have two inches, so when you come in and you're dropping the hole, make sure you <laughs> once you go through the middle, which is real thin, you stop. And you don't keep drilling into the conduit. I see no reason for anybody to do that. Oh. Best I can. And over here is the tricore. And to get the cables to slip in easy. I had to undo this completely and then the conductor cable slid real easy in place. Now I need to tighten this, tighten this, clean underneath, and then put the 3M tape on under to hold it in place. I uh, Separated the cables here to um, do not have to deal with the structure of two cables. It would have been a terrible twist if they were two twisted together as one. So I separate them so each cable is independent of the other coming in. I tighten this up and then I tighten this. When you tighten this all the time, it actually closes the gasket. There's a gasket here, so no water should enter it. No water should enter it. But I probably will build a little structure on it and put some decor on it also. A little ceramic concrete. A block on top of my yeah little junction box that goes over the two cables and uh, this is the 3M HB tape and I did cut it in half because this distance is roughly half an inch and this is a one inch tape so uh, it took four hands to do this And my buddy Joe helped me and cutting the tape, running the tape up the middle takes kind of two hands, you know, one hand is holding the tape, another hand is holding one side of the tape and a third hand is holding the other tape. In the meantime, you got to hold this in the air as you lay the four pieces down. And I laid the long length first and the other long length first and then cut to 
to fit in between. I measured it, but uh, Joe, he eyed it. So we cut it, we put it down, dropped the box on top of it. By the way, when you buy this kind of box to put the, the solar cables in, Make sure you get the one with the, I call it flange, the half inch of extra, because you could get some without it and just slim and comes down. And I keep saying to myself, I don't know how people attach it. How did they really deal with it? But I don't have to worry about it. But while well, Joe and I were talking about it, Joe's wife, Cindy, I asked her to, to, if I could borrow a scissor, because mine is kind of gooey. And she said, well, you could borrow my scissors, but why don't you take this aluminum foil and sharpen the scissors on this aluminum foil. So I went ahead and sharpened the scissors that we were going to use using this aluminum foil. So we had a really good scissor, cut the tape very easily. You really do need three hands though. Kinda hold the uh, kinda hold the uh, hold the two and you cut it. You are cutting the middle and then you got an end here, an end here, and the middle is an end. And so you have to have one hand here and one in here and one hand on the scissor. But it worked. Didn't take very long. Now just let it dry and this is the 3M VHB 4905 tape so they say 24 hours good 48 hours better and uh, 72 hour close to 98 percent strength of the tape but I was wondering, you know, I was saying, here's this tape on this roll all this time. And it just sits there waiting to be used. And how come it can sit on the, on the roll and just wait to be used? And the minute you apply it to two surfaces, it locks down. I don't know. I really don't know. But here's a piece of tape, and then I apply it to that, and... It affixes the two surfaces as good as steel, they say. That's 3M. I'm going to work, go start working on the cables.